My queen, is there anything else you want me to do for you? Nothing for now. Thank you, I trust you. I just wanted a natural color. Mm -hmm. Welcome, Your Highness. Your Highness. Welcome home, my husband. We have food here, I'm hungry. Pounded yam and egusi soup. Will be most preferred. Consider it done. Get on it. Stanley. Oh. How have you been? Very well, thank you, Your Highness. <laughs> how are you doing? I'm doing great. And how is your family? Oh, we are doing fine. We are doing great. But oh, she's fine. Uh, it's been a while she's seen your face. She said she missed you. <laughs> Definitely. I would love to see her. Uh, 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 come on. What's the chit chat about? I want food. Um, I'll get it ready as Get to it. About. I won't know you're going to see your lawyer. I've always known you to be a monster, so I'm not surprised that you trail me with a car I don't know about. What do you want from me? What do you really want from me? I do not want this marriage again. This marriage is killing me. It's killing me. What is wrong with you? I am not going to sign those divorce papers. And that is final. Even if the heaven falls down, I must see my lawyer that minute. Do your worst. Will you get back here? What you want to walk out on me? Yes, I will do that. I will do it over and over again. Since you don't want me to rest, you will not also rest too. You don't want to sign the divorce paper, right? You will make me in court. You know who I am, right? Look at me. Look look at me very closely. Look at me very closely. Why don't leave me alone? My friends, I'm so happy for you. You're living a good life. Thank you. I guess it comes with uh, Comes royalty. Yeah, royalty. Yeah. Royalty. It's very important. As one would expect. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Mm. I come here. Where's my wife? She's making her nails outside. What? She's making her nails outside. Open this thing. Let me see. So I told my wife to send me food. Instead, she gave you the food. Tell my wife to come here immediately. Tell her that if I meet her there, I'm going to set her a place. She has not seen on her yala. She's stupid. My prince, you have to take it easy on them. These are servants who only take orders from you. Abigail has no right whatsoever to flout my orders in this palace. She is incapable of doing so. She's your wife, and she shares equal rights with you. Stanley, it is men like you that have put us in the mess that we are in right now. She is my wife. She is meant to reference me, submit herself to me. We are Africans. I have run daughter. We are not white people. I do not have equal rights. My prince. With my wife. I understand. How can I tell that idiot to send me food as she sends the mates to come and send me food on Ayala, a woman that I paid her bride price? Remember, you said it comes with the office. Olivia! You push your to leave me. I will kill you here. I will kill you here. Leave me. 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 Le
selfish husband, this evil man, my husband. I can never be a wife to an evil man. A man that can beat his woman at every slightest opportunity. This man, he said he wants to kill me. Let him kill me. I want to die in your hand. I will kill you. 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 You know what I can do. There's nothing you can do at this point. I have been asking you what is going on. Leave him! You said you want to kill me. Tell her to leave him. Let him kill me. You have to kill me. Kill me. Kill me. Kill me. Don't look at this. I want to die. I want to die. I want to die. Let me die. I want to 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 die. I want your father! Who is your father? How many times have I told you? Never in your life! Send those maidens, those little girls to send me food here. Listen to me. I'm your husband. You hear me? And you are responsible just for me. I, I need you to wash, you wash. I want you to clean. You clean. When it's time to send my food, you send my food. When I come to your father's house to marry you, those maidens. Those maidens did not, did not come with you. Your Highness. Me, but they ever forgot your maidens in there, Josie. That at your back and call does not mean that you should forget your responsibility. Do you understand what I'm saying? Your Highness. Is that the reason you slapped me? I am going to slap you again. Because I'm going to leave you too blessed. Your Highness. You say one more word. Your Highness. Oh, tell me what you thing. need to take things easy with her, please. Why? She's your wife. Oh, Kissy, I know your own wife. Is that how you marry your wife? Look, okay, I don't like what you're doing. You are an African man, even one of them. Eh? This is Malaysia and Singapore that you travel to get to tamper with your mentality. She is still your wife. This woman here, eh? It's not sharing power with me. We are not doing business. And we are not business partners. She is my wife. When it's time for her to fulfill her duty, let her put it to a Marco Bamba this year. I'm talking to you, asking me questions. Who do you think you are? I said, calm down. Calm down, don't you, man? It's okay. It's okay. I'll talk with him. Everything will be fine, okay? We'll talk, we'll talk things out. Please stop crying, okay? He's my friend, but what he's doing is taking it to the extreme. It's okay. Everything will be fine. I will make sure I talk to him. He will stop doing this. This is not right now. Barista Jude, here's our offer. So? So what? You must be insane to think I'll sign this. Are you out of your mind or something? You think I'm going to let you go with all I've labored for? Mm -hmm. Mr. Wosu, calm down. Let me do this. Handle it. That's why I'm paying you. That's all. Our demand is 55 million naira, custody of the children. And the mansion will be offering 30 million naira, and that's fine. Barrister Jude. Yes, please. We both know you don't have a case here. Do you know it? I know it. But if you want to contest. The offer, you're welcome to meet me in court. What? Is that a threat or what? Mr. Mosu, I do not do threats. I state things the way they are. As a matter of fact, meet me in court. Because if you meet me in court, Mr. Mosu, I can assure you that you would not have 55 million naira to worry about. You would worry about more than that. Because I've done my findings on you. And trust me when I say I have pretty cool things to give as evidence in court. Mm -hmm. But like I stated, the choice is yours. You can either accept our offer or meet us in court. <clears throat> Barrister Jude, I will not be blackmailed by this slut. I'm out of here. Mr. Osu, we, we can do this patiently, please. Mr. Osu, you can... Oh, um, 
But it's a breaky. She knew I would have taken the 30 million and then take my children to a very far away place where he can never find us again. Mrs. Wilson, calm down. You will not go into hiding because of that monster. Like I promise you, I'll get you everything that you deserve. And I'll also protect you and your children. Nothing will happen to you, okay? You will. I am your lawyer. Thank you so much. Don't tell me you're trying to consider the threats of that little demon. Listen, you don't get it, do you? Now you listen to me carefully, please. It's just a piece of advice from me to you. You see that woman you just called a demon? She's something worse than a demon that you just called her right now. Now you listen to me. That woman in there has never lost a single case. And you know what that means. I am your lawyer and there is no way I can mislead you. And you know me to be a hard nut to crack. Did you see that woman there? She's an uncrackable woman. Now, oh God, you and I will go back in there and have a peaceful and a very good negotiation with her. Besides, you came here to end your marriage between you and your wife. So you can go back to your good life. Do you want to contend with them in court? Okay, it's fine. God, it's fine. But make sure they don't ask for more. Ah. This is a promise. They won't. I'm assuring you on this. Please do it. God. Come on. Gentlemen, welcome back. Barrister Becky, let's not overflow the dead horse. My client here will be offering 50 million naira, the mansion, and then he will have access to the kids. Barrister Jude. Yes, please. I believe everyone here is an adult. Sure. So there is no need for us to go back and forth on this case. It's either our offer or you meet us in court. Sign, sign. They can have you though. Sign. But I wish that money chokes you to death. Mr. Wilson, do you realize you just made a death threat to my client? And I'm sure it will interest you to know that everything happening here right now in this office is being recorded. I have you on record threatening my clients. So let me make this clear to you. If anything as much as a scratch comes on my client, I will come for you. I will bring down your walls and I will make sure you face the full wrath of the law, Mr. Mosu. I am sorry, Mr. Becky. I sit here to apologize on behalf of my client. You can understand his uh, situation. But even at that, he has no right to make a life threatening threat to your client's here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean it. Please don't take it to heart. It was just out of anger. Just had it. Like I said, I have you on record. Oh. Very well, gentlemen. Let's get down to business. Good. Uh, what say you? Let's silence. Good. Mm. Your Highness, I'm very sorry for the way the prince, your husband, treated you earlier. You didn't deserve that. Oh, 
I don't deserve all the things. Fate draws at us in life. But we're expected to accept all in good faith and move on with life. I have decided to accept my fate and move on with my own life. <laughs> I cannot question my chief or what he has brought my way. You can't continue like this. You are in pain. Just allow me to carry my cross. Your Highness, just allow me to apply this ointment on, on your face. The face is too beautiful to have any scar on it, please. Just just allow me. Ruth, please just leave me alone. I want to be left alone. Your Highness, I can't. I can't, my chi will never. Your Highness. Your chi would what? Uh, what are you doing? Your Highness, I, I was just. Um, Being stupid and lazy? Huh? No, Your Highness. You are not careful. You? Make sure that you find yourself outside this house. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Maybe you'll be more useful there. No. Out. 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 What's that about? You guys are having a pity party. Hmm? So what I am trying to say is, it, it will not be possible today. I have an important meeting later today. I understand, I understand, I understand how important this meeting is to you, but I have to attend to this meeting I told you about later today. Okay, tomorrow, next tomorrow, any other day apart from today is okay by me. Yes, sir. Definitely. Okay, sir. You will hear from me, sir. Okay. And thank you very much. I'll, I'll, I'll send you a memo. Just check your mail soon. Okay, sir. Have a nice day. Thank you very much. I, I deeply appreciate it. Thank you. What happened to you, my child? What happened to your beautiful face? It's not in your majesty. How was your trip? 
Hope it went well. We will talk about my trip after that beast son of mine must have finished explaining to me why he did this to you. Where is he? Chiku Josie! Chiku Josie! Chiku Josie! Come down here immediately! Come down here immediately! Before I order the guards to bring you out! Why are you screaming like that? Remember you have blood pressure. Huh? Can't be raising your voice like that. One more stupid question from you and you regret being my son. I'm just looking out for you, Dad. I know you have high blood pressure. I don't want your blood pressure to pop. You shut up. Mm. Father, you must be really angry. What has gotten my king so angry that he now speaks to his heir to the throne in that manner? The heir to the throne of this great kingdom will never do what you have done. What have I man? What have I done? Why will you do this to your wife? Oh. That. Oh. That. I was just doing the needful actually. Not like I did much to her. I was just trying to discipline her. What rubbish are you talking about? Dad, she is getting out of hand. Alright? She's getting out of line. She wakes up in the morning, does nothing. Picks up her phone, you know, looks at herself in the mirror, you know, she's becoming very stupid at least, you know, so I had to just, you know, you understand what I mean? Knock, knock her back in line, that's all. What kind of nonsense are you talking about, Chukudose? Dad, it's not nonsense. How can I tell my own wife to go to the kitchen to make me food? And then she turns around to tell the maidens in the palace to go make my food. I don't understand it. We're Africans. Things are not done that way. Eh? Kika mezi did yotozi. Make my food. And she ignores me. And she's sitting down pressing her. Chukudose. Dad. Do you know that you are very stupid? No, I'm not. How do you expect your wife, the next in line to become the queen of this great kingdom, to always be in your kitchen night? Preparing meals with her own condition when there are domestic staff in the palace to do the job. Are you crazy? When it was time to pay her bride price, I did not pay the bride price on the head of any of the domestic staff. I paid the price on her head. Oh, I see. Dad, it's her job to make my food. Uh, she is fast losing what makes her a proper African woman. She's losing her core. Uh, I'm a woman. I know you are doing this on purpose, but I want you to stop. Father, I did not envisage or even dream that I'm going to marry a woman who would ignore her responsibility. Would just wake up every morning, paint her nails, do her makeup, press her phone, sit on social media, and just chat with Ron's girls. Listen, Dad, this is a wife married to the earth, to the throne. She has responsibilities, Dad. Eh? Once in a while, you just knock her into. You understand what I'm saying? Listen, I'm warning you for the last time. I'm not talking to you only as your father, but as your king! Yeah, but you know that my king cannot tell me how to run my home. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. It was all my fault. Uh -huh. I should have made it for myself. Well, it's the duty of the domestic staff. They are paid to do that job. Does it hurt? So let me see your cheek. Turn around. Abigail! Look at all! That is not that bad. Relax. You have to stop this.
I still find it very difficult to understand why Prince Chuku Dozier would be this handsome, outwardly, yet very devilish inward. You know, what baffles me the most is that his wickedness is mostly towards his wife. I mean, you hardly see him unleash the kind of wickedness he shows to his wife to another person. I think there is more to this than what we are saying. Something must be wrong for Exactly the point I'm trying to make. But the question begging for an answer is, what went wrong? Chica. How and when? Chica, I wish I have the answer to that very question. I would have provided it so that all of this rubbish will end. I feel so sad whenever I see him treat the future queen of this kingdom so badly the way he normally does. A beautiful one at that moment. He treats her like, like a non-human. Babe, 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 babe. Babe, 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 listen, listen. What I can do you explain. want? I am very sorry. What you saw there is not what it is. Believe me, I was not doing anything with that. Just trust me. Okay, baby, baby, please, baby, please, baby, please, baby, please, come, come. I said, get out! I'm sorry. I don't mean to do this. Listen, baby, baby, come, baby, come back. Baby, just go. God, I fucked up. Oh, what am I supposed to do now? And um, babe, did Becky tell you where she's taking us to for our birthday celebration tonight? No. Besides, I don't think she's coming back home today. She'll be going out with Kelvin. Oh, uh, that's true. She actually told me that um, Kelvin is going to propose to her today. I hope so. Is that not her car that just drove in right now? Her car? Why is she back so early? We'll find out. Okay. So, okay. So, 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 so. Tell us, how did it go? Did you say yes to him? Can I see the ring? Uh, is it a silver ring or a gold ring? I love gold ring actually. Which one did he propose to you with? Stop stalling. Just show it to us. Why is your face like that? Nothing happened. There will be no ring. There would never be any ring from Kelvin. This is serious. Hold on, hold on, babe. I, I, I don't get it. What do you mean by there is no ring and there will be no ring from Kelvin? What happened? I made a reservation. Okay. I made a reservation today. I... I was the one who made the reservation in a restaurant. The plan was for Kelvin and I to meet up there after work. But guess who didn't show up? Kelvin. Like I said, I made... I made the freaking reservation on my own birthday. And he didn't show up. All he needed to do was just dress up You've 
have not even heard the main story. You've not heard the real story itself. At the end of the day, after he stood me up, I waited for some time and I decided to go to his house. I was angry, I was furious, I was... I was hoping to get an apology or an excuse. Only for me to get to Kelvin's house. Wow, I met Kelvin. I saw my boyfriend making out with another woman. Oh, oh no, 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 Becky. Oh, oh shit, Jesus. Okay, oh, the day supposed to be. Jesus, see. That is supposed to be my special day. See, it's see. It's okay, see, it's okay. See, it's okay. Calvin was busy oh. doing it. Oh, Jesus Christ. Calvin. Okay. Sis, please put yourself together. Oh, oh God. God. Calvin. Oh, the day that was supposed to be my special day. Oh, that day is not... It's okay. Please, oh, please calm down. Okay. <sighs> okay. Why? Why would we count? Oh, Jesus. Oh, man. Man. <laughs> it's okay. <sighs> calm down. Wait. <sighs> Love and marriage, they say, are two beautiful things and also wonderful experience that are capable of sweeping anyone that encounters them off his or her feet. But I feel those who think in that direction are completely wrong because I have known nothing but pain and agony ever since I got married to this man and he's supposed to be my love. What did I do wrong? Who did I offend? Why am I passing through this pain and this marriage? Who or what is responsible for what I have been passing through? Agony has been my breakfast. Pain has been my lunch. And sorrow has been my dinner. <laughs> Your Highness, your food is seriously getting cold. At least come and eat something. Please. Of what use is food to me right now? <sighs> food is the least of my problems. <laughs> Your Highness, you need to eat. Leave me alone. Leave me. Leave me wrong with you? What, what is your problem? You're still crying over that idiot? 
that useless guy? Really? Oh my god. Babes, I don't mean to be rude right now, but you need to forget about that man. You need to forget about that dude and move on with your life. Yes, you need to forget about him and move on. I don't understand. Like, I don't get this. Sis, you're beautiful. You're sexy. You're hardworking. Sis, you've got it all. Babes, you don't know who you be. You. Sis, now you. Babe, now you. Now you. You need to get over him. Forget about him. Move on with your life. Listen, babe, a broken relationship is better than a broken marriage. Do you understand me? Everything happens for a reason. And now, man, no fee mess you up now. Man, no fee. You don't be past this kind of thing now, babe. Stop this. I, I don't like it at all. I don't. You're beautiful, you're sexy, you're hardworking. Babe, you've got it all. Yes, you've got it all. So, I don't know what. You need to forget about this man and move on with your life. Okay? Uh -uh. What is this one now? Stop this, I don't like it. Forget about him. Hey, what? Why me? Why is this always happening to me? I must eat. Always be me. I did not just love Kelvin. I gave him my heart. I gave him everything. I gave him my time, my body. And how did he pay me back? He paid me back by cheating on me. He cheated on me. I don't know why I'm so lucky when it comes to relationship. I really don't understand why I am so lucky. Is it that I'm not fine enough? Eh? Am I not beautiful? Shh, 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 shh. See, what are you saying? Babes, come off it now. What is all this? Why are you talking like this? Babe, your beauty is unmatched. Your beauty. Like, babe, you're so fine. You're gorgeous. Babe, you've got it all. You're beautiful. You're sexy. You're hardworking. Babe, your type is rare now. Babe, you know if you can find you everywhere now. You are not everywhere. Babe, your type is rare. That bastard is not worth your tears. What are you saying? Babe, you've got it all. You have everything. You have everything, babes. I don't like this. I don't just like this. No real man will have you as his woman and will want to lose you. No real man would want to try that with you. So forget about that fool. He's a fool. He does not deserve you. I'm telling you. Listen, I know it hurts. I know how you feel. Trust me, I understand. Because you have contributed a lot in that relationship. But babes, he does not want it. He doesn't deserve you. Forget about him. Your man will come. And trust me, when he comes, he will treat you. He will pamper you like a queen that you are. He would not want to mess with you. Yes. Your own man will come. Trust me, forget about that fool. I know he will come back begging, but babes, hmm, I know, I know he will come back begging, but hey, unless I know they this house because I go push you up. Ha! Listen, Choma and I want to take you out. You know it's your birthday. Come, let's go out and have fun. Forget about him, okay? Move on with your life. I'm not in the mood. <laughs> I will not take no for an answer. You girls will have to go without me. No. I disagree with you. You will follow us to the place we're having fun. 
you must have fun with us. Maria, please. I, I do am not, not. I am I, not in the mood. Please, I just want to be alone. I right don't now. want to drag you out. Please, just stand up. Let's go. What are you even saying? You want to sit here and continue crying over that bastard? That 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 useless guy that is somewhere else enjoying himself with another girl, and you're here crying over him. See, stand up. Let's go. I beg. I don't want to drag you. Stand up. Let's go. What's that? What, 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 what's that now? Look at you now. Just look at you. You don't know who you be. Look at you. You're crying over a bastard. A worthless man. Stand up. Let's go. I beg. I don't want to drag you. Choma is waiting downstairs. Let's go. My love. Please, I'm going to stop. I'm not in the mood. Please. I have nothing to discuss with you. I'm tired. Okay? I know I don't joke with my rest. So please. Why do you keep treating me this way? <sighs> Am I not beautiful enough to be your wife? If you don't love me, you can marry another wife. Please, I just want to ask you and to beg you to please stop hating me. At least for for a bone child. Abigail, you know you, you had the chance to get yourself out of this bondage that we call marriage. But you chose not to. Because of the beautiful things of life. Because you wanted royalty, you wanted luxury, and now we're here. And you suddenly want me to take a second wife. How? No, tell me how. Huh? I want to bring another woman into this place. Where will I find the energy to be sleeping with both of you at the same time? No, no. It is one man <coughs> or one woman. We're going to be here. Eh? You go nowhere, my darling. And please, don't bother me with this mundane subject next time. I want to rest. I want to rest. I'm going to try to rest my head. If you, if, if you try to wake me up, I'm going to make you cry. Like you're going to cry. Do, do you get it? You think you're crying now? Try to wake me up. Thank you very much.
Hello? What's going on here? Hello? M Becky? Maria? What's going on here? Wait a second. Did you just party all night as much that you left the door open? You have not answered my question, you gigolo. What are you doing here? M Maria, please, I will appreciate it if you stop calling me names. Especially the gigolo part. Please. Kelvin, really? If you're not a gigolo, then what are you? Babe. A Casanova? Is that what you are? You shouldn't say that to me. Oh, shit. Come on. Come on. I, I know Kelvin. I messed up. And I really know I messed up. But then, babe, oh. you know me. Listen, I know I messed up. Like, I should have called you that I wasn't going to come yesterday. And that's why I'm here. This is mm -mm -mm. Kelvin, first off, you don't get to tell me what to call you. Do you understand? How did you even get into this house? What are you doing here, Kelvin? Didn't I tell you to stay far away from me? Wait, what do you take me for? No, really, Kelvin, what do you what do you take me for? Do you think I'm a fool? No, 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 because I was in love with you and you, you thought I was I was stupid. You know I would never take you to be a fool. Oh, you, you, you're about the smartest woman on the planet. Mm. And you, you you're everything and you know how much I love you. So, so Thank you for the compliment. <sighs> now you can go back to your woman. To the slut you chose over me. Have you forgotten? Eh, 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 before you start saying this or that, I remember everything. And whatever you say right now, I will never believe it. So get out of my house. Kelvin, I am not thinking straight. I'm having a headache right now. I am tired. You saw me lying down here. I just want to be. Now get out of my house. I, I, I can explain. Eh? Oh, shit. Uh, trust me, I can explain. Kelvin! Oh, or whatever they call you. Peace! Leave this house before you will regret ever stepping your feet into this apartment. Chairman, oh, please, can you just shut yes, up? Can you get out? I'm, I'm not talking medic. to you. Can you just shut up? What did you just say to me? Are you stupid? Huh? Do you think I'm as soft as Becky? Mm. Huh? Ha <laughs> ha! Kevin, I know where to Kevin, I did Chris! Ask them now! My own day, my body! I will give you water, water, Kevin! How dare you? Are you mad? How dare you treat my girl like a piece of shit? Marie, slap me. Nice slap. Are you stupid? My girl that brought you out of the gutter and made your life better. Now you're you're chesting out. You're showing yourself and asking me if I slapped you. Can you just you just slap me, Chama? You just slap me. Kelvin, uh, you're still there. You just hey, slap me. Hey, 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 come out. Please, please. Yes, you see that? Put on your head. Babe, babe, babe. I'm not playing. Listen, I want. Okay, 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 that's fine, 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 no, baby, last person went to this house. Oh, no. You know, locked up. You didn't lock the door. Which kind of? No, you, you, probably, you, you probably, 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 yesterday it was late like Jane Jane my darling friend <laughs> you're welcome once again uh, what, what happened to your face did your husband do this to you no come on why my husband did nothing to me so you said that you later had your way with your husband and you said you got a reasonable cut from his wealth. 
Forget about what I said and tell me why you're taking this from Prince Dozier. For crying out loud, you're dying in silence. And you need to speak up. He is not, remember, he is not and will never be the last husband the world will ever see. Come on, Jane. You're just being overreacting. My husband did nothing to me. Um, Ruth, you are a personal servant. Is she telling me the truth? Yes, ma'am. She accidentally hit her face on the door. Um, okay, I think that's fine. Can we change the topic now? So tell me, how did the divorce go? Ruth, you may leave. Well, I met this young, vibrant <sighs> lady lawyer. She's fearless and precise. I had not told her about most of my husband and how he's been treating the children and I. To cut the long story short, she made him pay me 55 million naira. What? <laughs> Hold on. And the house we're living in right now. Wow. And now they were proud. <laughs> Proud landlady, and also made me have the custody, full, in fact, full custody of the children. Beautiful, Your Highness. I wouldn't have asked for anything less. I am so happy to be free from this evil grip. I knew what I actually went through. I went through hell in that marriage. It's okay. I am happy for you, my friend. You know, nothing tastes better than freedom. Yes, nothing tastes better than freedom. Mm -hmm. But if you want to see her, I will gladly fix it for you. No, I don't need to see her. I don't need her for anything. I'm happy in my home. Well, if you say so, I'll be taking the children to a few days vacation. Mm. Mm. And then over there, I will think of how to invest my money. Good. That's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. I'm happy for you. Mm. <laughs> so finally, I am free. Wow. From abusive marriage. I know. A wise man once said, when life throws lemons, at you. You make lemonade. Chica. But why is it that for some reason her highness prefers bitter lemon? Ruth, I don't understand what you're saying. Can you please speak in clearer terms? There lies a volcanic ocean in front of her. With tawny forest flanking her. But for some reason, she believes in forward ever. I don't know if she believes or thinks that there is spare life. So this is the reason you've been going back and forth. Come on. Our emotional resilience is no longer in news. There's something new happen. Can you believe that I had to lie? I had to lie to cover up the fact that her husband did that to her. Why? why? Why would you have to do that? Because she blatantly denied the fact that her husband abused her domestically. <sighs> this is really getting out of hand. Is it until she dies? Before she realizes that this marriage is so unhealthy for her.
if I'm being asked my candid opinion, I would advise she ends the charade by getting a divorce. Simple. I mean, what is this? Such a nice lady. I pity her. How can a man be so mean? Such a nice lady. Um, Abigail, why am I having those feelings that you are not being honest with me over what happened to your face? Ah, come on, Jane. I have told you nothing happened. And please, I will appreciate it if you stop asking me further questions about it. Nothing happened. That is your choice. Don't forget I've been through this before now. It is your own choice. Anyway, when you need me, whenever you need me, and you're tired of being at this bondage, you let me know. Fine, I will, but not anytime soon. And come on, I will make my marriage work no matter how toxic it may appear. Really? Yes. You will make a toxic relationship work. Don't forget I've been through this and at the end of the day I had to give in. Because I realized that my life and that of my children's life is important. You have to leave. To leave. Your Highness. His Majesty demands your presence. Okay. I have to be on my way now. Okay. Remember, you have to leave. To leave. Thank you. Please drive carefully. Your Majesty. The Princess will be with you soon. Your Majesty, the power and supplier called that he has fresh power now. What are you waiting for? Get it fixed. I will do that immediately. Your Majesty, you sent for me. Oh, yes. Uh, please sit down. So, how are you doing today? I'm very fine, Your Majesty. My tea is with me. I want you to understand how I feel about you. I'm so sorry about what happened. Sincerely apologize for what my son Chukudoze did to me. I want you to find somewhere in your heart to forgive me and forgive my son too. Your Majesty, I hold no grudge against you and my husband the Prince. I believe what happened is one of the crucibles of marriage. Is your father aware of what happened? No, Your Majesty. I believe what happened between the both of us was a mistake. We can work things out together. Oh. <laughs> I appreciate it. You are a good woman. Thank you, I Majesty. so wish that you are my biological daughter. So wish. <laughs> your Majesty. Uh, Am I not your daughter? Or don't you see me as one? Oh, my kind of joke. So sorry. You're my daughter. Thank you, Father. Uh, it's all right. Uh, yes, uh, uh, are you okay? Yes, Your Majesty. Okay. I'm fine. All right. Uh, tell them to get me a glass. What are you doing here? Um, hey, hey, what? Are you doing here, Kelvin? Babe, please just hear me out. Just hear me out. I, 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 you what? I, I, I want to Kelvin, what is it you don't understand? I made it clear to you that it is over between us. And I don't want to see you anywhere around, my, a, around me. I still love you. I don't love you again, Kelvin. Did you miss us? Listen, listen, listen. listen. I know I've messed up. Yes, I've messed up. But I still love you. Kelvin, I don't love you. 
I don't miss you. I don't want you back. I don't everything about you. Come on, that's How? not fair. Kelvin, this is my workplace. And you don't bring drama to my workplace. So please, please, I beg you in the name of God, go back to the woman you were with on my birthday. That woman that was so important for you to be with, rather than me, go back to her and get the hell out of my life. Babe, listen, I know you're getting so upset. You, you, you must be very mad at me, but I am sorry. Listen. Kelvin, I, I am human. Kelvin, I just, just don't listen to this part to bloody human. care about <laughs> what you feel or what humans feel. Oh. I said, get out of my office. Wait. Kelvin, do you realize this is my workplace? That's fine. No, 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 no. Do you realize this is a workspace and it's not just me in this place? Okay. Or you want to get me sacked? Okay, no, that's fine. That's fine. Kelvin, don't ever bring drama to my workplace again. Get out. Kelvin. No. There is nothing that you would tell me right now that would justify you cheating on my friend. You know the worst part? You did it to her on her special day. Her birthday. No. Don't tell me that. That's a big offense. Help me tell that fool that the girl in question did not force him or rape him. So he knows what he did. What are you saying? Did she use charm on you? Or did she rape you? No, no, no. How do you want to... No, how do you want to explain it to me? No, 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 no. You can't be serious. You can't explain... You cheated on her. Hmm. I'm not the one you should be apologizing to. No, no, no. I'm not the one you should be apologizing to. I can't listen to this rubbish you're telling me. What you did was wrong. It's an offense. You're just a wicked human being. And don't call me again. Jeez. Who were you asking those absurd questions? Is it not your boyfriend, Kelvin? That, that bastard would not let my phone rest. He has been calling me since morning. Hmm. You Do you know the idiots? That idiot actually came to my office earlier today. What? Like the first person I saw when I got to the office was the idiot. Oh. <laughs> Are you serious? Ah, girl, I'm serious. So after all he did to you, he still had the guts to show his ugly face. <laughs> Jesus, can you imagine that? What do these men really want? My dear, this man, they do not know what they want in their entire life. They are just a bunch of useless fools. Mm -hmm. Jeez. Ah. Bunch of confused set of people. God forbid. Listen to me, Becky. Forget about him. Move on with your life. Exactly. That guy does not deserve you. At all. I'm <laughs> telling you. Girl, you know me too well. I don't have time for rubbish. I trust Do you. I look like someone who's got oh, time girl, for nonsense? I Please, Magic. are you watching? Can you huh? imagine? He came to your Let's office, wanted to movie. kill my mood. Are you guys forget about ah! this news, please? Ah, oh. they've killed this girl, oh. Princess? I don't understand. You're using a Nigerian number. At the airport? <laughs> you must be joking. <laughs> you must be joking. And I mean, <laughs> there was no prior information. Oh, surprise? Oh, <laughs> you caught me there. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's not a problem. 
All right. All right. Okay. Okay. Is it Chuku? Is it Chuku? Your Majesty. My King. Um, get a car ready. And the guard. Move straight to the airport to pick princess. I do not want to keep her waiting. As it pleases you, Your Majesty. Wait. I will do that immediately. I'm waiting. Ah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, yes. Oh no. <laughs> Great news. <laughs> uh, my princess, I just arrived. Oh, you're on the way. kids inside. Please, please allow me to see her. <laughs> I should allow you to see Becky. After everything you did to her? Kelvin, I am very sure that she warned you not to show your ugly face anywhere around her. And you have the cost to show your face in this apartment. Kelvin, get out! Leave here right now! I, I, I'm sorry, I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere until I see her. Becky! What? Becky! Get me, get me. I'm right here! I want to see you! I'm not going anywhere until I see you! I'm not going anywhere until I see you! Kill me! Get out! Oh, please! Get out! Could you just stop this? What do you want to see me for, There you are. Baby. No, really, what are you doing here? What part of I do not want to see you anywhere around me don't you understand? What are you doing in my house? Kelvin, get out. I said, get out. Out. Please, baby, baby. Kelvin, please get out of my house. Please, please forgive me. Ah, oh, Jesus. Please. Kelvin, I said stay away from me. Get out! I am Kelvin. truly, truly sorry. I am very sorry for what I did to you. Oh. Trust me, my, my life has not been complete ever since that very day. Like, I, I, I'm totally losing my mind. Waking up each and every day. Not finding you by my side makes me want to go crazy. Can't you, can't you see? Kelvin, I believe you are a man like you always say. You're the man, right? And you should be able to live with your choice. You've made your choice. So you should be man enough to live with that choice. That's now, get out of my house. That's the problem. That's the problem. I can't live with the decision I made out of my own stupidity. I can't. I love you, Becky. I love you so very much. I know what I did was undeniable and, and it's unacceptable. And I'm so ashamed of myself. Babe, please forgive me. Just give me a chance. Just one more chance to redeem myself. You hurt me so bad. I know. You broke my heart into pieces. I know, baby. I know. I'm sorry. Kelvin, on my birthday, you chose to be with another woman. On my special day. Can I even ask you a question? I'm talking to you. Kelvin, if reverse were to be the case, would you forgive and accept me back? I am asking you a question, mister. I won't. Would you? But here you are, begging me, crying your eyes out for me to take you back. Please, I'm sorry. Yes. Oh, God. I'm sorry. Please. please shut it, Calvin. Please. Babe, please. Do not listen to this cheat of a man. He has made his choice and he should live with it. Don't even listen to him. Don't, don't listen to her either. I, trust me, I'm a change. Please. Calvin, really, are you, are you for real? Yeah, baby, I'm sorry. What? In the family meeting, a man should always think, Hey! What is wrong with this old fool? Hey! Hey! I'm sorry. What is wrong with you, old fool? Mm -hmm. Do you want my driver to crush you? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. 
Sorry, I was... I, I was thinking... Will you keep your stupid explanation to yourself? Uh, Are you okay to walk on the road like that? Mba, mba, you know, a lot of things in the brain of you a crazy? young man or old man. Eh? Crazy one. Are you silly? I am not. Chelo, Chelo. Hey! My princess! Who is your princess? Oledo! Hey, when did you come back? Will you shut up? Oh, yeah. Shut up, you old hag. Mba, no. I'm not old hag. Listen. Do you realize you are talking to the you know what this great kingdom? Oh, you have oh these years you have stayed abroad. No, wait! What do you want me to do? I know. Oh, 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 Me, it's your Kelvin. I love you, and you know it. You, you can feel it inside of your heart. You can feel me, in it? I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry. Please, please. I'm, I'm human, and that makes me not being perfect. So just forgive me, please, please, baby. Forgive me. of my heart. I will always love you. I love you forever. I love you, baby. I love you. I love you so much. I love you, baby. Please. Greetings to you, Father. The great lion of our kingdom. The most benevolent of our land. The most cherished king of his time. I greet you, Father. Wow. I am the most happiest man here on earth today. Seeing you return to us in peace is a thing of great joy. And I must thank you, Chi, and the gods of our ancestors, you know, for being by you and protecting you all these years. I do hope that um, your trip was stress-free. Of course, Father. The thought of me coming home and knowing that I'll be seeing you and that of my brother makes it a stress-free journey and <laughs> you can say that again <laughs> I'm who so is she oh your brother's wife wow. her she name is abigail abigail my word you are beautiful <laughs> and <Thank> so <laughs> quick <laughs> brother you you never told me your wife is this amazingly beautiful because beauty without brains is like making a royal apparel for the most beautiful queen in the world with a haystack. 
I'm still trying to know what beauty has got to do with matters of the heart. Quiet down, Chuduze! Quiet down! Come on, brother. That's not fair. Why will you speak ill of your wife in such manner? Wife. <laughs> wife. 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 Uh, uh, never mind. Um, come, never come mind. on, come uh, on, sit. Sit down. Easy. <laughs> hey, sweetheart, I am so sorry about that. He's your husband, and I'm sure you understand him already. That is who he is. So don't take it to heart, okay? Yes, I do like that. You are beautiful, I must say. And please, pardon me because it wasn't my intention to miss your wedding. And oh no, come on, my princess. I totally understand. And I have heard so much about you. Well, they are good. And I'm convinced that everything I heard about you is true. Thank you, thank you. One more time, you're beautiful. Don't flatter me like that next time. So. Father! Uh, I, I think uh, we need the click of glasses. Is it Uh your, your popular brand. Uh, <laughs> I know. I know. What is it? Why is your face like this? Princess Oledo has killed me. Oledo has killed me. Uh, what exactly are you talking about? Princess Oledo, where and how did you meet her? Mm -hmm. That we know she's been abroad all this while. For years now. I know what I'm talking about. I was coming from the neighborhood. I went to see my in-laws. Then, maybe it was my fault. I just absent mindedly, I crossed the road. Then I heard the screeching of a car. Hey, I, I turned. Oh, this lady alighted from the car. Oh, this is my princess. I wanted to greet her and apologize to her. She just turned. You old fool. You want me to kill you? You want to commit suicide on my neck? She started reading abuses on me. Before I knew what was happening, she turned, picked up a stick and started beating me like a schoolboy. Look, look at my back. It's hurting me. You mean, why would she behave in such manner in the first place? Does she know the implication of what she did? Oh no, yes? just calm down. Okay. The thing has not ended. Okay. Eh? All right. Go home, shower, take care of yourself. Mm. Eh? Mm. Let us know the next thing to do. Yeah? Hey, sorry, yeah. Hey, sorry. Hey. Hmm. This girl. Uh... Oh, can Hey. Hey. Oh no, we oh, no, of this great kingdom. This girl could do this type of thing. Don't worry. I, I will show her that I'm Malaki. <laughs> um, cheers to life, Father. Oh, yes, cheers. Long life and prosperity. Great health. <laughs> and to the new West member of our family. Mm. <laughs> so, Father. Yes. You know, the country, no, Africa at large, I think we need to sit up. The white men, despite not being blessed with lots of mineral resources, are far, far ahead of us in terms of development, technologies, health care, and what have you. Talking about their economy, Father, it is top notch. Ah, I don't even know what else to say. <laughs> My princess, for the way you're sounding, it looks like you found love in the white man's land. Oh, there you are. Are uh, you seeing someone over here? Father! Uh -huh. don't, don't tell me both of you are doing me daughter-in-law and father-in-law thing. Uh, uh, you, 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 you are just breaking yourself <laughs> out. No, <you> know? <laughs> no, Father. Of course, you know that cannot happen without your consent. Oh, I see. 
Okay, fine. I was just pulling your legs. Just pull it more and further. <laughs> okay, um, so Father, tell me, what's been happening in the kingdom and the country at large? Well, a lot um, is happening and a lot has happened. The one that uh, struck me the most and still disturbed my peace is the way and manner your brother is treating his wife like a piece of rag. As if though she doesn't matter at all. You know, I've been trying to work on his snappishness to make him see his wife as his helpmate. Now, like you know your brother, he's so recalcitrant. Um, so, Father, what could be his reason? No tangible reason at all. He has been whooping around. But I told him there's nothing he would do to change his mind. A big girl here is his wife. There's nothing he or anyone else would do to change what is already before us. Um, Father, I really wish my brother would wake up from his slumber and realize how much of a beautiful woman he's got here. I mean, Abigail is a beautiful woman with a large heart. And I don't see the reason he should treat her less. I just hope that doesn't continue. Thank you so much, my princess. Ah, take a seat. Of course, father. Becky, really? Becky, I'm talking to you. What is wrong with you, Becky? My goodness, I can't believe this. Becky, after everything that I did to you, you still accepted him back into your life just like that. No, 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 this, this one is madness. Total madness. I don't get it. What is your problem, this girl? The same person love making the mumu. I don't understand. No, no, no. Hey, this is not ordinary. You cannot tell me. No, no, this is voodoo. Juju. Ah. Babe, check him now. This is Juju. And no, you don't need to tell me. I, I, I saw it. Because I am as shocked as you are. Eh? Because I did everything. Everything. But she refused. She didn't even listen to me. Because I don't even know how she accepted that guy back. It, was it because of his crocodile tears? Because I don't know, I don't know what else happened. He's a pro. Like the guy sure knows how to play his games well. Guys, come on, please. Stop. Stop. Listen. I love Kelvin. Mm -hmm. Can you let me talk? Mm, what talk? You love Kelvin. Uh, what next? I love him. And we have history together. Do you know how long we've been together? You expect me to just throw away how many years of relationship just because of what happened? Jesus Christ. Kills you. You have to learn to forgive in a relationship and move on. Nobody is perfect. Oh. Listen, I know he hurt me. He broke my heart into pieces. My heart. But guess what? What? My body and my soul cannot just... Keep away from him. What is wrong with you? Your body and your soul cannot... I didn't hear you well, eh? Ha! Babes, what I'm trying to say in essence is... Mm -hmm. As much as he hurt me... Mm -hmm. He broke my heart... Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to heal... I cannot get him off my head. My body and my soul still want him. Shut up your mouth, I beg you! Don't, don't even speak again! Shut up your mouth! What is wrong with you? Your body and your soul still want him. Let me tell you something. Going back to Kelvin will only destroy your life. Exactly. What is wrong with you? Use your brain. Exactly. Don't say I didn't want you. Don't say I did not want you because when the time is, if you call me, I'm not going to answer you. Better talk to her. Hey. Well, Becky, my only prayer for you is that all these things that you're hoping for work out for you because that's all I can offer right now. I love him indeed.
Your father, the king, and your sister have been looking for you. Where have you been? Since when did you begin to ask stupid questions? Prince Chukudozi, it is very clear that you hate me with so much passion. But no matter the level of hatred you have for me, your ugly attitude towards me will never change what destiny has oh. for us. You have got to be a fool to talk about destiny. Abby girl, your stupidity brought us where we are. You know very well that I don't love you. Yet, you chose to marry me because of your thirst for wealth. And now we are here at each other's throats and you open your gutter to talk about destiny. Let me ask you. Why do you hate me so much? I mean, why did you accept to marry me if you hate me this much? Got to be the smartest thing you have ever said. Hate! Because Lord have mercy, I despise you. You have brought me nothing other than pain and sorrow. I hate you. Oh, I hate you. I hate you with every strand of hair on my body. I hate you. Now that we have an understanding, stay away from me. Mm. Stay away. I hate you. I hate you. I see. <sighs> I thought I was a fool. Little did I know that you are also a fool. A bigger one at that. Prince Chukutosie, you claim to hate me this much, yet you accepted to marry me. Why didn't you say no instead of unleashing your little wrath on me? You are coming to watch your choice of words. I should mind my choice of words, yet you never fail to open my legs every night to have carnal knowledge of me. Please, Chukudosie, you are nothing but a hypocrite. Call me a hypocrite. One more time. Just this is an insult of the first class order. I mean, the accusation you leveled against my own daughter, Princess Oledo, is disastrous. And I wonder why you think that it was my own daughter that you experienced. Your Majesty, what do I stand to gain by lying against the princess of this land? Absolutely nothing. I mean, she humiliated me yesterday as the only one of this land. She did not only rain insults on me, she flogged me like a schoolboy. What? I mean, it's quite difficult to believe. Is it Chuku? Your Majesty. You went through and fro to pick the princess. Yes, Your Majesty. What Ono said, is it true? Uh, my king, what he said is true. 
But I believe the princess had a reason for doing what she did, my king. Your Majesty, I mean, what reason could she have to flog the honor of this great kingdom? Who is old enough to be her father? Your Majesty, you must not let this slide. The honor who needs justice to heal his wounded soul. Hmm. Um, oh no. Your Majesty. I um, must say that I'm not happy about this whole thing. All the same, I want to sincerely apologize on behalf of my daughter. I will send you some money to treat yourself and uh, be rest assured that I will fix this. Your Majesty, you have spoken well. Giving him money is good. At least, it will help him to heal his wound. But that is not enough. What happens to his dignity as a man? So I am of the opinion that the princess must tender an unreserved apology to him. Yes, we will bring it out before the Council of Elders. And you know what that means? Your Majesty, I don't need your money. As the owner of this kingdom, I am comfortable. Here lies my dignity. I want my dignity back. And I want it protected. What I demand from you and the princess is an unresolved apology. She has to apologize to me. Then I let everything pass. Otherwise, I will bring this case before the Council of Elders and the Cabinet. And you know what will happen. great kingdom. Do you understand that that man is my own who the second in command of this ancestral throne? Father, I am totally lost. I don't know what you're talking about. Are you sick in the head? I'm talking about the man you assaulted as you left the airport yesterday. How could you do something like that? I am still lost, Father, because I can't remember beating up your no -la. You cannot say you don't know what our father is talking about. What you did yesterday was mean and stupid. Admit it and stop making excuses. Stop it. The man was here yesterday. He demands an unreserved apology coming from you. I will apologize to you, father. I am totally sorry. In fact, I am very sorry. But I will not go and apologize to that man. Excuse me? That will not happen, Father. Have you lost respect for our Father? You should apologize to that man. That is the right thing to do. Do it! All right. You must do everything I'm asking you to do. I'm not only talking to you as your father, I am talking to you as a king. What he did was unthinkable and you must do everything right. I hope this is clear. I do hope this is clear. Of course, Father. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm second in the list. You offended the know who of this great kingdom first. Your apology must go to him. And one more thing. I do not accept 
you wearing provocative words and spots, you must appear in your royal robes. At least you should side me, not side him, Father. What happened to you, Alido? You were not like this before you left. You were calm and cool-headed before you left this country, travel abroad to study. Now, you have the education that we've always prayed for. But you're back as a vicious, wicked, I dare say irresponsible woman. What is going on? Wicked and vicious, irresponsible, all for your sister. Come on, I did nothing wrong. And I already apologized to father. Oh no. <sighs> My prince. On behalf of my father, the king. And on behalf of my baby sister. We are sorry for no. What she did was wrong. What she did was shameful. Something that should not have happened in the first place. The royal family are not happy about it. And that is why they have sent me to come and speak with you directly. And let you know how sorry we are. My prince, what happened that day was not just a slap on my face, but on the entire kingdom. Oh no, I sincerely apologize for my misconduct the other day. Please find it in your heart to forgive me. I've forgiven you. I've forgiven you. After all, one cannot throw away his or her own for an ordinary mistake. It's all right. I've forgiven you. Thank you very much, Anu. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm not forgetting that I have come with um, a token of appreciation, not to bribe you, no, <laughs> but to appreciate you. But my prince, uh, my prince, I told my king that this is not necessary. I'm forgiving her. She's my daughter. Princess Oledu, you're calling my daughter. I'm forgiving her. Oh no, my prince. You are the owner of this kingdom. Yes, I am. And you know our culture. You I understand do. tradition as a custodian. Our culture, you will agree with me that you cannot say no to royal gift. Okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> I thank you. Thank you, no. Yeah, please tell my king that I accept his gift with all my heart, and I have forgiven my daughter, Princess Oledo, our daughter. I thank you so much, my prince. Thank you. I thank you for bringing peace to us and for making peace. Long, may the real family reign. Thank you. I thank you. Thank you, no. Babe. You've been looking all worried today. Even while we were making love, you were absent minded. What is it? I'm fine. Come on, babes. You know you're not fine. You know you just lied to me now. And I can tell when you're lying. So tell me what is it. Mm -hmm. You see, I don't like making unnecessary mistakes. Just like the one I did today. What happened? Okay, so... Um, I... I I gave my little brother that was supposed to travel out of the country the last money in my account only to get a call today from Honorable Ojo that the contract I've been pursuing is in. Really? Yes. Come on, baby, this is good news. But 
I don't understand why this is a problem because what you just said now is good news. Yes, yes, you're right. I'm supposed to be happy. Mm -hmm. But I can't. Why? Okay, no. So the deal is I'm supposed to um, get the sum of 8 million naira to at least water the ground to make the minister sign the contract. So now they cannot approve the sum of 200 million naira for me to start up with the project. I don't understand. What's there for you not to I, understand? The thing is, first off, 8 million naira is too much money. And secondly, are you not supposed to get this project for free? And then use the intended money for its purpose? <clears throat> Babe, why are you talking like you're not from this country? Like, why are you talking like you don't understand the system? Before you get anything going, you just have to soil the grounds. Like, you have to give something to get it. If, if it is as easy as you think, everybody else will just get a contract. So, the thing is, I need to give them the sum of 8 million. In that way, they can approve the contract. And it's a win. But now, I don't have that sum of money. I don't even know what to do either. Are you serious? <sighs> Babe, it's crazy. Babes, eight million naira is too much money right now because I don't even have it. So what do you intend to do? And if you don't give them the money, you will lose the project. Automatically, they'll just, they'll just get some other contractors who are able to, you know, pay the bids, and that's it. And we lost everything. And that's what I've been pursuing for a very long time. And now here it is. Babe, please, don't say anything. Let me see if I can scam this guy, okay? Please, I'm begging you. Mm. Hello, Abiodun. Please, can you call me back? Like, can you call me back like tomorrow? I'm not in a very good mood. Like I said, I'm not in the mood to see anybody. I'm not in that mood. See, I'm going through a lot right now and, and I just don't have this kind of time. My rent just expired. And the lawyer just came here now to let me know that he will evict me if I don't pay by next week. And I can't afford to do that right now. You know, my mom has been sick. And she just did her surgery four days ago. Yes, I told you I was in the village last week. I can't afford this right now. Well, the rent is 1.5 million. Um, but what if I can see 700,000 or even 500 to commit the lawyer? I believe he will let me be. Um, I don't know where that is. Unless you would come to our junction and pick me up. Okay, let me, let me just get ready. I'll, I'll be with you shortly. Okay, bye. Babe, you're such a prevaricator. Jesus Christ! It is called being smart. Not... Pre what did you call it again? You see what they like. You know no common English. Hey! <laughs> hey! I know Sai Sabila yo, but you are a pro girl. What do they make for you now to carry laptop, begin to see for you They feel they waste your talent. You get talent. Babe, but you and I know that you are worst. Ha! I don't cash out. Hey! 1.5. Your mom did surgery. When? Ha! Huh. Maybe. You can never uh -uh. tell. This one they are expensive. You even bring your mama to the side. Anything for the money. Ha. Hey, hey! I don't cash out. Yeah. I beg you, take a miss you. May they no go catch you. I no go come out. Hmm. I no go come out. But you don't deny me. I go deny you. I go deny you. Take a miss you. I don't cash this one out. Okay. Hey, hey! I no go even know this it's idea. All. Babe, you know how important this is to me, to us. 
Listen, once I get this project done, we are made for life. And I'll take very good care of you for the rest of your life. Listen, babe. My love. My everything. My priceless pearl. I know how difficult this must be for you. But if we must have to get this done, we have to do it even if we did the last drop of our blood. Baby, you know me. I'll do anything for you. I'll move mountains for you. But the money involved is too much. I don't have it. If I had it, I would have given it to you. You know me. You know me, I would do anything for you, anything to make you happy. But babes, I don't have it. Oh, maybe I should talk to the girls and see if they can help us. No, no, no. Don't, don't ask the girls. Um, I think I'll, I'll stick to my problem because telling the girls is like talking to the devil himself. Because they will end up just blowing up the whole thing, and then probably the whole world, the whole world, we hear about my mess. So I think it's better I just stick to my project. I'll probably just let it go down the drain, than asking the girls. That's like asking the devil. Babes, if you don't want me to ask the girls, which are the people I know I can talk to at this moment, what do you want us to do? Because babes, eight million naira is too much money. It's too much money at the moment for me because I don't have it. I don't have 8 million naira at the moment. You know my problem. I don't have it right now. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. You don't have it, you don't have it. But babe, if the reverse was the case, I'll go to the end of the world for you. And you know that, don't you? Come on, baby. Why are you behaving this way? Yeah? Let's go to the hotel. You know I've already paid for it. How is that supposed to be my business? Did you call me out here to talk about sex instead of giving me the money I asked for? Why are you so why are you insisting on taking me to your hotel room? Instead of giving me the money I asked for. Of course you know I'm going to give you this money. Yeah? I have missed you a lot, and that is why I'm asking us to go spend some time at the hotel. That's what you said the last time. And then I know how much I kept on calling you before you sent the little amount of money you sent to me. Baby, what's up? Why are you dwelling in the dark past? <laughs> when the future is sparkling. See, I have missed you so much. And that is why I want us to spend some time together. Come on, baby. Allow me to take care of you. Let me treat you like a California princess that you are. What's up, baby? What do you say? Abiodun, yes. I am not here for long speeches. If you do not want to give me that money, I'm going to head back home and face my problems I, myself. I, 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 chill, chill, chill. I don't know why you're being this difficult. Small play while they play with you and I don't think I'm serious. Put your account number. Abby, Abby because you know that I like you, now why did you like this, Abby? Now what are you supposed to do now and you do now? Take his... Smile for me. I check your phone. I just credited you 500k. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> What's up? What's now up, we are baby? talking. <laughs> now we are talking. Mm. Yeah. Ah. Can I get a hug now? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's go to the hotel. Of course, let's I'm gonna take care of you, baby. Let's go. Baby. I'm gonna take care of you, baby. Hi. What are you doing here? Hi, how are you doing? You've not answered my question, Mr. Man. I said, what are you doing here for crying out loud? This is still my work hour. I am sorry to disturb you, okay? I was actually coming back from my travel, so I was thinking of what to get for you. So I, I thought it wise to get you fruits, you know? Fruits are actually good for nourishment, so yeah. Oh, I really? Get you watermelon and um, some oranges. Wow. That's so thoughtful of you, you know. Thank you. 
watermelon and oranges. You must be very, very stupid. You're mad. You don't have sense. In fact, you've lost it. What is your problem, Timothy? What is your problem for crying out loud? Are you now this jobless? Like, you don't have things to do? Your mates are out there. Your mates, like real men, are out there working so hard to better their lives. And here you are, giving me watermelon and, what's that again? And oranges. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. You're so local. Jeez. You didn't even think of something nice, something sweet to get for me. Like, designer's bag, Gucci, like, beautiful things. Roses. You're getting me watermelon and oranges. Oh my goodness. You're so local. You're so local, like, you're so broke. I, listen, I don't even want to change it for you at all. If you know what is good for you right now, turn around and get out. This minute, leave my shop. Get out. Uh, 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 excuse me, excuse me, please. Young lady, I think the least you could do is appreciate him for what he has done. He left his work, left everything he's supposed to be doing by now. And decided to come pay you a visit with fruits. I don't see anything bad, you know, with what he has done. W why are you being this ah, Please! Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Where is this noise coming from? Something is smelling and it stinks. Oh. oh, oh listen, it's coming listen, from this direction. Listen, listen, please, please. I can take anything in the world. Not for a lady like you to stand right before me and insult me. Listen to me. I am not Timothy that you insult Anyhow you like, just because of the fact that he loves you. Can you just shut up? Shut up! Somewhere. You, 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 your mouth smells. Will, it will you shut up? Look, 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 look. Oh my goodness. Somewhere. What did I say here that is bad? You bad must be very, very stupid. You just, can please, you just shut please. your mouth? Somewhere, please. Please. I don't blame you. What please, is your business? Why will you even meddle into an affair that does not concern you? Is it your business? Why would you even put your mouth into this case? It became my business the very moment you opened this gutter mouth of yours to talk to him in the manner you did. If you don't mind your, if you don't mind yourself, what is your business? You will not do anything. Beat me now, beat me. Look at this. Look at look look at this thing, oh. Look at this. Look look at this smelly thing. I don't have the time to. I don't have your time. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. My, my shop. I it's blame yours. you. It's you I blame Timothy. I don't blame you. I you blame you. To, to tell me how to talk to a nobody. A nobody for that matter. Can you imagine? With a smelly mouth. Black like monkey. Sammy. Are you going to sit there all day doing nothing? And there is nothing in this house, there's nothing in the kitchen. Please, can you just get used with yourself and prepare something so we can eat? Timothy, are you going to apologize to me for the insults I received today or not? Huh? I should apologize to you. How? Timothy, if you had listened to me in the first place, that girl wouldn't have insulted me the way she did today. Let me tell you, I just left her for one thing. Else, I would have beaten daylight out of her. What is, what's, what's, what's wrong, wrong with that idiot? Sammy, thank God for that one thing because if you had beaten her, you would be having problem with me. I mean, serious problem with me. Eh? You heard me. I know that Maria is playing hard to get. But come on. You know I love her more than anything in this world. I love her so much. I mean, I can't think straight. She's just everything I think, everything I breathe. <clears throat> Remember there was, there was a time I deleted a number of my phone. Because I don't want to call her. I mean, I, 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 I wanted my sanity back. I, I just wanted my peace. I, 
I, I, I couldn't. It didn't change the fact that I, I, I saw myself calling her every day, every day, every day. That's because her number was stored here. In my head. And not on the phone. You know, I... I, I I'm beginning to think that... Maria and myself is destiny. Ah. I mean, we're destined to be together. Hmm? You heard me. Hey! Listen to me, Timothy. You are the <clears throat> biggest fool that I've ever seen. Yes. A fool. To think that all this nonsense has something to do with destiny. That girl will break your heart too. She will break your heart if you don't take time. And what's the problem with breaking my heart? I mean, what's the essence of love if there is no breaking of heart? I mean, what's this whole breakfast thing if there's no love? Come to think of it, it is my heart that will be broken and not yours. I mean, why are you taking this so personal? You know, if you weren't my friend and um, if I haven't known you for, for, for some time now, I, I, we're thinking otherwise. Why are you drinking medicine for someone else's sickness? Tim, let me ask you. How long have you been on this girl's case? Like, you've been on her case for months now. Yet, she keeps telling you the same thing. I can date you, I can marry you, you're not my class, you are very poor, blah, 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 blah. Yet you don't want to hear. You, don't, you keep going after her as if she's the only girl in this world. What is wrong with you? What is your problem? Why can't you see beyond your nose? Is it that you can't read the writing on the wall or something? Anyway, it's your business. Because no girl on earth will do that nonsense to me. No, they no born that girl where we go try that rubbish with me. Ah, I go mess the person up. Mm, okay, okay. All right, I agree. Accept. Mm -hmm. Can we change the topic? I've heard what you said, okay? And I promise I will do something about it. So can we end it now and um, think of what to eat? Is there anything you know how to talk about, if not food? You like food, but you can't cook. And you don't have a woman in your life. If you are not, you are not going to be a woman. Sam, that's why I want to marry you. That's why I want to marry. Let me tell you something. Sometimes. You getting married from what I'm seeing is like trekking from here to Lagos. Manon God. I wish you the same. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, baby, how about a project? What are you doing concerning that? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Y you know, I don't have the resources to carry on. And I've actually done everything I, I can to raise money and still couldn't. Uh, maybe I'll just have to let it go. Just like that. What do you expect me to do? Well, I, I spoke to my boss about it and he has agreed to give me the money. I hope it's not late. <laughs> no, 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 it's not, it's, it's not, baby, it's not. Uh, so, did he give you the money? Yes, he did. <laughs> but, baby, please. Once you're done with the project, please return the money to me so I can give it back to you. Please, I'm begging you. Come on, babe. You know, as, as soon as I'm done with this project, it's, it's going to be a win-win for us. I mean, as a matter of fact, we should be thinking of how to plan for our marriage. 
Yes! <laughs> come here, come here, come here. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I'm so proud of you. I'm proud of you too. Oh, really? Yes, baby. And um, I will transfer the money to you before you leave. So you See? can start immediately. That's what I'm talking about. You are the best creature on the planet. Um, Come here, baby. Come on, oh, come on, come on, come on. I love you. I love you so love you very much. much. I'll take you to the end of the world. I'm back. I think my husband is seeing another woman out there. You're still thinking, Your Highness. The prince, your husband, is definitely seeing another woman out there. That is why he's treating you the way he's doing. You think so? I don't think so. I know so. Listen, my dear, you're my friend. And I won't mislead you in any way. Seriously. Listen. When a man starts having an affair with another woman out there, automatically you start treating his wife like a piece of rock. <sighs> Seriously, I don't want to believe my husband is cheating on me. Don't you think... There is every possibility that he's not seen another woman. He is your husband. You can always defend him. I know you love him so much. Let me ask you. If he is not cheating on you, why does he hate you so much that he pits you at every slightest provocation? Why does he keep late nights whenever he goes out? Hmm? Why is it that he does not treat you the way a husband should treat his wife? Have you asked yourself those questions? Honestly, Jane, I'm finding it difficult to believe this. I don't want to think or believe anything like this. I understand what's going on, but I just don't want to believe it. I don't. You have to believe me. Believe it. Listen, my good friend. The earlier you leave this marriage, the better for you. I mean, why do you continue to put your life and the life of your unborn child in danger? I mean, this, this whole thing is getting out of hand. You may lose your life if you don't take your time. Seriously. Mm, yes. Why is it that you still use protection for me whenever we're making love? Um, that's oh. That's probably because um I don't want us to make mistakes. Mistakes. Babes, what do you mean by mistakes? Wait, hold on. Babes, are you talking about me getting pregnant? You're scared of me getting pregnant? Something, something like that. What do you mean by something like that? What is wrong in me getting pregnant? After all, we're getting married soon. So, what's the difference? Or don't you like children? I love kids, like, I love children. I, I want to have as much kids as possible, but not out of wedlock. Like, it would be more reasonable we make babies when we're officially married, not outside of marriage. I mean, why don't you just wait until probably from the night of our honeymoon to the rest of our life and we can make as much babies as we want? Good afternoon, madam. Good afternoon. Mrs. Caroline, I presume. Um, it's okay, sit down. Thank you, Lord. 
You're welcome. How may I help you? Barrister. Barrister, I seriously need your help. Barrister, please, you really need to help me. You have to help me. I don't want this marriage anymore. I don't want it. I want a divorce. I hear you, madam. I hear you. It's okay. It's okay. Um, please, can you explain in details why you want to divorce your husband and what exactly happened? Okay? Where is the, my life is in danger. I'm scared to stay in my own house. My husband wants to kill me. He wants to kill me. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. Calm down. Calm down. Take it easy. Take it easy, madam. Take it easy. I hear you. And you're here now, okay? Okay. So I I need you to talk to me because if you don't talk to me, I wouldn't know where to start from. So I need you to put yourself together and tell me everything in details. Okay? My dear, I'm still here. The prince specifically warned me to wash this car thoroughly. He warned me specifically to wash this car very, very well because he's going somewhere very important with the car. So I have to continue washing, my dear. Okay. The future queen mm. wants you to go somewhere very important for her. Now. <laughs> so, how do I do that? What will happen to the car? Who will watch the car? Please. Please. I don't want any trouble. Please. What will happen to me if the prince comes out and discovers that I left his car unwashed? Please. Okay? So, what are you implying? Simple. Very, very simple. Go and tell the future queen that I'm busy. Hmm? I cannot leave this thing now and come and run an errand. If the prince comes out and discovers that I left his car unwashed, he will cut off my neck. Please. But come to think of it. Uh -huh. eh? Why is the prince treating his wife the way he does? Eh? What type of union is this now? Hey, if you ask me, now who I go ask? Please. You see, this is your question. Hmm? You are going straight now to channel this question to the right person, not me. Mubarak! I don't blame you. Go and blame who you should blame. Now me you won't put for trouble. Nah, say back, what? My friend, I'm is calling you. Answer. <laughs> Madam, if I heard you correctly, you said you cheated on your husband. Your husband, whom the doctor confirmed, is impotent. You cheated on him with his best friend. And now you you are pregnant for his best friend. Yes. I did it for him. I did it for our marriage. I can't stand to stay to spend the rest of my life without a child. Without my own child, I can't. <laughs> I do have no problem with it. Madam, it is not in my place to condemn you or judge you. But rather, if I'm going to be your lawyer, and as a woman, I am going to tell you the truth. I will tell you nothing but the truth. You know what? Let's start with you. What do you want? You know, when I met my husband, 
he had nothing. I so fought with him. I stood by him until he became successful. I want my own share of his money and properties. This is too much to ask. I can't just lose everything like that. Please, lawyer, help me. Mrs. Caroline. I will have to decline this case. I won't take your case. As a matter of fact, madam, what you need is not a lawyer. What you need is a police immunity and not a lawyer. Please. I was told that you are the best divorce case lawyer. I know you can win it. This is the area of your specialty. Boy, oh, yeah, please do something. Don't, don't just. <laughs> please take off my case. Please. Madam, like you rightly said, I am one of the best divorce lawyers around. Do you know why I am one of the best divorce lawyers in this town? Because I know when to pick a case. I know when a case is a win-win. As a matter of fact, this case is dead on arrival. Because from what you just said now, you want to divorce your husband. And you want him to give you half of his property. Like you said, you stood by him while he was suffering toiling and getting those properties right but now you have a child in you a product that is not your husband's child you want to take care of your product of infidelity with half of your husband's property so i don't know which court of law i'm taking this case to so i would see it in another light what you need rather now is like I rightly said, is a police immunity. As a matter of fact, do you know this man can actually harm you and get away with provocation? <laughs> this will be a case of provocation and nothing more. So I would suggest you walk into any police station around you, make a report, get them to get your husband to sign an undertaking that he would not come near you or harm you for any reason whatsoever. And that way you are sure you're safe and your baby is safe for now. I don't think you need a lawyer, madam. Please, lawyer. Please, just, I know you can do this. Don't... Where, well, please. I will double your pay if that is what you want. I can even do more than that. Please, lawyer, please take up my case. Leave me. Please. Madam Caroline, like I said, I will not take up this case. But I would suggest if you persist, you can try other firms if you think you want to pursue this case further. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, <clears throat> as the owner who of this great kingdom, representing our great king, we all know why we are here. <clears throat> My prince, you will take this cup of wine. Go around, search around, present it to your wife to be. Bring her to us. We give her royal blessing. 
I still represent our king. Give it to her, bring her here, and we shall bless her. And in a few days' time, she will become your wife. Mano. Kwanaka Bikonu. Kwanakao. Kukwanakao. Kwanakao. My friend. Greetings, Your Highness. Ah, greetings. Your Highness, your food is served. Okay, thank you. Your Highness, you look worried. Is everything all right? Everything is fine. Okay, if you say so. What type of a dream was that? Does it mean that my husband is getting married to another woman? <sighs> what if he has gotten married to the person? What is really going on? I am very sure that all is not well. Something is seriously wrong somewhere. I really need to find out what the problem is before it becomes too late. Mm. 